Well, we are again in here, Fiera Milano, uh, presenting these EcoGeo Plus units with the AU range. This solution is uh, quite interesting, quite uh, unique in the market. So our EcoGeo Plus water-to-water -water heat pumps are not restricted to the ground source collection systems. They are compatible with air collection systems like this dry cooler in here. So we can completely re replace the ground source systems by one hydraulic dry cooler like this one or other models that we have in the range so that the, the heat pump can take the energy from the air instead of the ground. Uh, there are many advantages in these installations uh, which are uh, the main fact that the heat pump remains indoor. This can be the EcoGeo Plus basic unit or the EcoGeo Plus compact unit that we saw uh, earlier. These heat pumps uh, are, as I say, installed indoors, so the refrigerant load uh, and all the refrigeration circuit is still in the technical room and the refrigerant loads we have are quite lighter than the ones we can have in water to wa uh, air to water applications or uh, B block units. Okay, so the lifespan of the unit is quite larger than the ones we can we can have in a monoblock or a B block unit as the refrigerant circuit, compressor and main components are in the technical room. They are not exposed to humidity, temperature changes, uh, rain and other weather conditions. In here we just have a fan with a battery that can extract the energy from the air or dissipate the energy in the air in the case of cooling mode. Okay, you can come in here with me, look behind the unit. In here we have a good and main advantage of these units. You can see the separation between the fins in the battery, which is quite large compared to refrigerant batteries in the market. This means in peak uh, conditions of humidity or lower temperatures in winter, we have the frosting cycles that take much more time to be produced. So in these peak conditions, the first things I produce in periods of two or three hours instead of one, one hour and a half that we could have in a monoblock system, which allows the unit to be much more efficient and, uh, be, and allow the, the building to have better comfort, okay? Other uh, details. The connection between the heat pump and the air uh, unit is hydraulic, uh, glyco plus water, okay? And uh, uh, one of the main points in these kind of solutions is the efficiency regarding the frost things. These EcoGeo Plus heat pumps use the theoretical passive cooling heat exchanger to produce the frost things. We use the domestic hot water volume or the heating volume or the pool volume to directly defrost the outdoor unit. The frostings take just two or three minutes instead of four, five, six, seven, eight minutes in the case of refrigerant units. And don't need in to start the compressor to defrost. So there's no compressor consumptions during the frostings, there's no uh, four wave valve activations during the frostings, and the efficiency during the gear of the installation is much higher than the one we can have in a monoblock unit. The last advantage we can find in this, in this kind of systems is the HTR technology, which added to the defrosting technology is quite interesting. This HTR technology of the EcoGeo Plus heat pumps allows us to both produce domestic hot water and heating in winter period. This domestic hot water and heating simultaneous production means that we can overheat the domestic hot water tank. So when we have to defrost the outdoor unit, we are consuming overheated water. So when the heat pump starts again, it doesn't need to start again to produce domestic hot water, but heating again and overheat again the domestic hot water tank. So the efficiency of the system is much higher than any monoblock or B-block system in the market. So these are the advantages of these EcoGeo Plus domestic heat pumps in combination with the air units from EcoForest.